everyone, my name is Sarah, aka Lady Statuesque, and welcome to my studio. Today, you guys are in for a real treat because I am doing a tutorial on 50 Shades of Grey Anastasia Steele. First of all, this is an interpretation. This isn't the actual makeup they use. I know they didn't use very much makeup as well, but this is based off of a picture that I found off of the internet that says Anastasia Steele. Um, it's one of her like photo shoots. The idea with this makeup look is very light and natural. It's kind of like the no makeup makeup look, which I love because it's so easy for school or for work. And um, if you're interested, please keep on watching. Thanks guys. So first we're gonna start off with the face, um, and I'm gonna use um, the Pore Professional by Benefit. This is a really good primer for your foundation, and I think it's really important to have a good base if you're gonna have really light eye makeup. All done. So, next up is foundation. I use the Laura Mercier foundation. I really like it because it's really full coverage. I am in the shade Cream Ivory, so I just, Buff that into my face. I'm gonna be using two concealers. Um, the first one is Revlon Colorstay Concealer. I'm in the shade Light. This is a really good concealer for your under eyes. It's really creamy and it's cheap, which is really awesome. So I just put a little under my eye and then I pat it with my finger. Next, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This is good for blemishes and um, any redness that you want to cover up. To set the makeup on my face, I'm using Tarte Powder. It's just a translucent powder. Um, it sets everything on my face. It's really nice. Um, and I have a little sample size, which is good to test it out but I haven't been having any problems with it. Done. Moving on to eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Just put a little on each eye. This is perfect because your eyeshadow will not budge. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Revlon Customized Palette. It is in number five, Gold Spun. You can pretty much use any palette, any shadow you want, all the colors you need are a light brown eyeshadow, a kind of a darker brown eyeshadow, and a light for a highlight. It's really easy to find. So using the middle shade in the palette, this light brown shade, I'm going to place this all over my lid. Taking a flat top eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to place this color on my eyelid. Now using a creaser brush, I'm going to take the last shade in the palette, this really dark brown shade, and I'm going to and I'm going to place that into my crease. Now taking the same flat top eyeshadow brush, I am going to take the same dark brown shade that we put into your, our crease and put a little bit underneath my eyes just to balance the look out. Lastly, I'm going to be putting this white creamy shade along my eyebrow and in the inner corners of my eyes. Perfect, now your eyeshadows are done. I'm not gonna put any eyeliner on my upper lashes this time. Anna has very natural looking makeup. So, instead, I'm going to tight line my eyes. I prefer looking at a mirror, looking down and doing it. Some people pull their eyelid back to do it. That makes me feel a little uncomfortable. All it takes is practice, but the payoff is incredible. And I also forgot to mention that the eyeliner I'm using is the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil. It's just from the Naked 2 double-ended pencil. You can use any black pencil. I just like it because it sticks in the waterline. It doesn't, you don't like tear it away. Move it on. I'm using my eyelash curler. I'm gonna curl those lashes. Next, I'm using their Real Benefit Mascara. I love this mascara because it's lengthening. It's not really thickening, but because we tightlined our eyes, it kind of did that for us. 
just putting a little on the bottom. Now just a couple more things left. I'm moving on to blush right now. I'm using Bobbi Brown's um, Blush and Apricot. And I usually put blush along my cheekbones, but I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks to keep it very natural. And you have to have a very light hand for this blush because it is very pigmented. Now the very last thing that we're doing is lips. So I'm using Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Pepper, and I'm taking a little bit on my finger and just dabbing it onto the lips to keep it as natural as possible. And just dabbing it onto the lips. So this is my finished look of my interpretation of Anastasia Steele's makeup. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Um, please make sure to check out my other videos. And I love you guys. Bye. Okay, so to set everything that you put on your face, I have to do it again. Stop laughing. <laughs> You're like tearing. Yeah. Stop. I am using Tarte powder. It's just a transition. Why is that such a difficult word for me? Translucent. 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 This is my kitty Luna. She's real cute and she likes makeup too. Bye. <laughs> Anna has very natural looking makeup. Check. No. Now, if you have sensitive eyes like me, this might be um, a bit of a challenge. You need to get out of here. Go. Check. <laughs> Thank you. Now I lost my trainer. Ah. Oh. Stop. 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 I have to do this. Oh my gosh, she's going nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs>